They look like the homes of the rich and famous, glamorous multi-million dollar mansions in stunning locations. But movie stars don't live there. Are you financially independent like I am? Some of America's wealthiest televangelists do. Tonight on Inside Edition, Lisa Guerrero is reporting on prosperity preachers. She's investigating how some wealthy preachers have found a clever and legal way of avoiding paying property taxes on their pricey homes. It's kind of unbelievable, but Lisa Guerrero is joining us more with what her investigations have found. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. It's so good to be here, Shiva. This Thank stuff you. is just so interesting to watch, especially when you hear almost the ego that comes with it? Are the rest of you financially independent like I am? Yes. You know, I, this is such an interesting set of stories that we've done over yeah. the years. And we've investigated prosperity preachers and mm -hmm. televangelists that are making millions and millions of dollars and living a life of luxury, yeah. flying private jets, etc. Today, we're focusing on property taxes okay. and why so many of these guys that own million dollar mega mansions are able to legally avoid paying property tax. Wow. And it's because they claim that they live in a parsonage. And what is that? So a parsonage is a home owned by a church that a pastor or preacher lives in. Okay. And over a hundred years ago, you know, there were uh, protections in place mm -hmm. so that modest preachers that lived on church grounds that didn't make a lot of money wouldn't have to pay property taxes okay. on their homes. But you know, that was over a hundred years ago. Yeah. Now what we're seeing are these mega millionaire televangelists that live in huge mansions that are using that loophole so they don't have to pay property taxes. Wow, it's kind of unbelievable that this is happening. You covered preachers across the country, mm -hmm. but talk about the parsonage exemption here in California. So here, 29 states give this parsonage exemption. Mm -hmm. 21 states, including California, have a more general, broad approach to the tax exemption. Mm -hmm. They say that if it's a church building that that can be tax exempt. So for example, Ron Carpenter is a televangelist that lives in a mansion listed at $8 million. He claims it's a church building, so he doesn't have to pay property tax, not one cent. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So are there any California mega churches that use the exemption? Yeah, that is he's one. one of the yeah, California he's one. ones. He's one. But, but this is happening all over the country. In fact, the Trinity Foundation, okay. which is a watchdog organization that tracks this stuff, mm -hmm. they claim that there are over 100 mega mansions that are using this tax exemption nationwide including a man called Jesse Duplantis mm. from Louisiana. You know Very of him. Very familiar with him, yes. Yes, yeah, so he, um, he claims that he built his home at $500 per square feet. That is a 40,000 square foot house worth $20 million. Oh my he goodness. He didn't pay one cent in property tax because he claims it's a parsonage. Wow, is there any hope from the investigations you've done so far that this would change? Because I would imagine that these pastors don't want it to. The good news is this, okay. the power is in your hands, voters mm. and people, and you know, you've know you got to talk to your representatives mm -hmm. about this because they can adjust the laws mm -hmm. statewide so that, um, you know, for example, if you're a pastor or a preacher making over a million dollars, maybe you should be expected to pay property tax on your uh. personal or home. So, you know, we have the power to change. You've got to contact your reps and let them know that it's outrageous. And um, I asked Jesse Duplantis about his parsonage. Yeah. And uh, you've got to watch Inside Edition tonight to see what we found because uh, it, it's a very big problem. People are outraged about this story. And in my opinion, they should be. Yeah. Think of all the money you are paying for your home in property tax. But if you were an ordained minister and said, this is my parsonage, you wouldn't have to pay a cent. On a multi-million dollar mansion. Yeah, this is crazy. We're glad you're getting some answers for us, and I cannot wait to hear what they say when you confront them. Lisa, thank you for being with us. Thanks for and having guys, me. Guys, watch Inside Edition tonight at 7 on CBS Los Angeles Channel 2.